Now let's turn to the topic at hand, colon cancer. Dr. Greg Cooper lets us know who's at risk and why it is a major concern. Colon cancer is a malignant tumor of the uh, large bowel of the lower intestine that is currently the second most common cause of cancer death in the United States. In anyone's lifetime, the risk of them developing colon cancer is somewhere between five and 6%. But the good news is that if people get regular screening, uh, specifically with colonoscopy, the risk can be reduced by as much as 90%. So the major risk factor for colon cancer is advancing age. About 90% of the cases are in people over the age of 50. At any given age, the risk is a little bit higher in men than compared to women. African Americans have a higher incidence of colon cancer, and also when they're diagnosed with colon cancer, are more likely to present at a more advanced stage of disease. And also, on the average, African Americans are diagnosed with colon cancer at a somewhat younger age than other racial groups. Another risk factor is family history. So if you have a parent or a sibling who's had colon cancer, uh, particularly if they were diagnosed under the age of 60, that increases your risk. We've made significant inroads into colon cancer over the past few decades. The number of cases is going down, the death rates are going down, but despite all these advances, both in screening and treatment of colon cancer, it still represents an important cause of cancer incidence and, and cancer death. So how do you find out if you have colon cancer? Dr. Cooper mentioned screening, which generally means a colonoscopy. So a colonoscopy is the only screening procedure that we have that not only we can detect uh, polyps, but we can remove them at the same time. Polyp is a growth of tissue in the lower intestine. By removing precancerous polyps, you can prevent cancer from even developing in the first place. Colonoscopy is an exam that's performed where we can directly visualize the lower bowel using a flexible lighted tube that has essentially a camera at the end of it that's hooked up to a video screen that we can see images of the patient's lower intestine. It's done with something called conscious sedation typically, which means that the patient is given medications through an IV in which they're not unconscious, but they're pretty out of it, so it becomes a very tolerable procedure. Also, it takes about 30 minutes. It's typically done in either a hospital setting or a uh, surgery center where patients can be monitored both during the procedure and after the procedure. Colonoscopy is not only is, is it the most accurate test, but if a patient has a colonoscopy that's negative for any polyps, they don't need to come back typically for another 10 years. In general, it's recommended to start screening in most patients at the age of 50. There are a couple of exceptions. If you have a family history of colon cancer, we typically start younger at, at about age 40. Or uh, there's some data suggesting that African Americans, because they have a higher incidence of colon cancer, should start screening closer to age 45. If the colonoscopy is negative for polyps, then you're uh, good for another 10 years till you need another colonoscopy. If you do find polyps, uh, they're removed, they're sent to pathology to check for any sign of malignancy or other worrisome features. And most of the time, if you have polyps that are removed, you know, the recommendation is to come back in five years for another colonoscopy.